Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be reviewing the brand new collection from NARS. It is the limited edition Power Matte Liquid Lipsticks and then the Cream to Powder Blushes. You guys know how I feel about cream blushes, so that is what I'm most anxious for. But I have been in need of some new matte liquid lips. This came at the perfect time and I'm so excited to rip them open. So before we get into all that, if you haven't already, please make sure to give this a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you love videos that have to do with makeup, tanning, fashion, all that good stuff. This is the channel for you, so make sure to subscribe. But if you want to see my review of the new NARS Air Matte Collection, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, so I am first just going to read up on some details for you guys so you know a little bit about like pricing, what shades I got, what shades are out there, all that good stuff. So I literally ran out and bought this the second it came out at Ulta and they didn't have all of the shades because I think I was a day early. That's what the girl told me, but they still let me get it because they're amazing over there. Thank you so much. But I got six shades of the liquid lips and then I got one of the blushes because they didn't have the other ones. So as far as the air matte lip colors, there are eight total and they each go for $26. So I'll just go in order from the picture that I'm looking at. So there is Shag, Pin Up, Thrust, Total Domination, Chaser, Power Trip, All Yours, and Joyride. So the colors that I ended up getting are, let me just get these all in order over here. So I got six of them. I have Pin Up, Total Domination, Shag, Joyride, All Yours, and Thrust. And for the blushes, there were four shades. It was Orgasm, Freedom, Darling, and Scandalous. The only one I was able to get my hands on was Orgasm, but that is my favorite shade of all the NARS blushes, so I'm not complaining, to be totally honest with you. And this one went for $30, so pretty standard pricing for NARS products. Wasn't too surprised there, but the shades from what I can see right now because we can't really use testers, at least not where I live, are absolutely stunning and I'm so excited to try them out for you. So I'm not wearing any like bronzer or blush or highlighter because I wanted to try this out and see how it looks on my face. So I'll do swatches of everything and then I will put the blush on and then I'll pick a lip color to put on my lips for you guys. So. I am gonna do some swatches, but that's kind of why I look half done because I wanted to actually apply some of the products. So yeah, I'm looking a little crazy, but I think I'm gonna start with swatches of the lip products and then I'll swatch the blush and then we're gonna start applying it. Oh, also before I leave, look at this packaging. How cute is this? Like this is such a classic NARS kind of thing. Let me just show you a little comparison. So the foundation, the matte foundation from NARS, which is insanely amazing by the way, this is what the packaging looks like and then this is the liquid lip. Like how cute. This is like a little mini version of this and I am living for it. It's so adorable. But basically the first one I grabbed was Pin Up and it's looking like it's a little bit on the red side. So I'll explain them after. I'm gonna swatch, so give me one second. I am back and the six shades that I have are swatched. Let me show these to you. And before I name them off, I just wanna say that these like went on, at least swatching, really, really smooth. And they were really pigmented. Like have I seen more pigmented? Yes but the way these went on was really nice and all of these colors are so, so beautiful. I was a little bit intimidated because the packaging of these, like for example, when you see this shade on here, it looks more like bright red than it does when you actually swatch the color. So when you see the packaging of the actual product, 
it's not as crazy intense so you don't have to worry like the lightest shade which is all yours like look at this compared to this like you would think i'm putting like some like super pale pink on my lips and you're like oh get that away from me but no it's actually a really really pretty nude so the bottles themselves or i wouldn't call them bottles the packaging whatever it's a tiny bit deceiving but the actual colors that come out are gorgeous so just be careful of that so the first one that i have right up top is pin up the second one that I have is Total Domination. So that's this like really bright kind of reddish color. The third one is Joyride. I am gonna be grabbing for this one a lot. The fourth one is Shag, also such a pretty mauve color that I'm gonna be grabbing for a ton. Thrust, I think might be my favorite. It's this really pretty kind of darker nude shade. And then the last one, like I said, is All Yours, which is a really light nude. And all of them are absolutely stunning. But the blush, I'm so excited to literally just touch because I love cream products so much. It's an air matte blush, again, in the shade Orgasm. Let's, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look at it just inside of here. Like, <sighs> I already know I'm gonna love it. So basically, I'm just gonna swatch this like on my hand and I'm gonna use my finger. Oh my God, this is so creamy. I really was not expecting that. Wait a second. What? Classic orgasm shade. Like it looks just like the other blushes. I have this in the liquid and in the powder. And the color of course is very, very similar in each formulation, but I cannot describe to you guys how creamy this was. It was literally like I was dipping my fingers into whipped cream, like it felt so nice. And if it goes on that easy on my cheeks and it blends out really nice, I think I might have a new favorite. So we will see, I'm hoping for the best. Let me just put my hair back really quick. So I just want to get right into applying and I want to do the blush first so that I can put some bronzer and highlighter on after because I feel like I'm looking kind of crazy right now. So let's start applying guys. Oh, by the way, this, even though it's like a matte formula, Orgasm itself has like shimmer inside of it and this does too. So if you're looking for something that's like completely fully matte, has zero shimmer, this might not be the shade for you because this does have tiny little goldish flecks in it. So just be aware of that. But I'm taking this onto my finger. Oh my God, I could literally just touch this all day. It feels so good. <gasps> Even if it's not a good product, I'm keeping this just so that I can touch it because it's so soft, I literally can't believe it. Okay, so I'm taking this on to the apple of my cheeks and I'm just blending out as well as I know how. This looks so good, you guys. This blended out so easily that I don't even know how to describe it. Like it seriously felt like, I don't know what. Like I was putting butter on my face. That's like the best way to describe it. Like it literally felt like I was like gliding butter across my face, but in the best possible way that you can use that in a description. And the color is like, it's very pigmented, but it's not crazy overdone like I feel like I put like a good amount of product on and you can definitely tell it's there but it's not like in your face crazy looking like how some blushes can be so whoever came up with this formula needs a raise it's amazing I seriously I need to go back and get the other three shades because this formula is everything this is just a first impression though, so I don't know how it wears like throughout the day. We'll see what its lasting power is in a future video. I'll keep you guys posted because I'm probably going to be reaching for this quite a bit. But as of like for a first impression, it's 
absolutely beautiful. I really love it and I feel like this blush is going to be getting lots of comments and compliments in person because the camera is like not even doing it justice. If you were to see this in person, you'd be like, damn girl, like it is really, really pretty. And I know, like I said, I have the orgasm blush in the powder and in the liquid, but there's just something about this formula that's like really, really making it stand out for me. So it's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And I love NARS's packaging. Like you seriously can't go wrong with NARS. Always looks classy in your collection. I just love it. But I'm gonna put on some bronzer, some highlighter really quick, just to kind of liven myself up a little bit more than it already is. And I will be right back and then we'll get into applying the liquid lip too. Applied some bronzer and some highlight and I feel like me again. I feel like I'm looking a lot better now. So one thing I will say, this side of my face, I don't know if it was because I might've had like a little something left over on my brush from the last time I did my makeup. But for some reason, like right up here, it looked a tiny, tiny bit like, I don't wanna say splotchy, but not the most even. On this side though, I feel like it turned out really, really good. So this side might just be my fault from a different product that I used before. But this side, the way that it blended in with the blush and the way the highlight set on top too, I feel like it looks like a really, really seamless application. It's really pretty, but I also want to test out really quick. I want to try to do a layer right on top of my bronzer to see if it works over powder products. I know this is supposed to be like a cream to powder, but it is a cream formula right off the bat. So I want to see how well it kind of works on top of powders. So let's just all right guys, I think you get my seal of approval for applying this on top of powder. I think it didn't really make a difference to be totally honest with you. Like it didn't create this like really harsh line like how some products do when you're putting a cream or a liquid on top of a powder. I feel like this blended in really nicely and it sat on top really nicely, at least just for a first impression. And one thing that I really like too is that it's not making my pores stand out either. Like it's not accentuating anything. I know that can be an issue sometimes with those kind of products. So it's really nice that it's not making anything more noticeable. And I'm not wearing a pore filling primer either. So I can give you an actual opinion on that. So pores not looking bad. It blended in very nicely. The color is absolutely stunning. The formula is Dunning. So this is a yes from me. If you're thinking about going to get it, I say try it out, see how you like it. But basically now we're just gonna get into applying the lip. So I want to line my lips. I'm not gonna go crazy or anything. I'm just gonna take a random lip pencil that I have already and this is 90s Glam from KKW Beauty. I'm just gonna quickly line my lips and then I will apply the lip. So I will be right back. I didn't go as hard on lining my lips as I usually do. I usually like to fill them in a little bit more, but I wanted to get like a true reading of what this color itself looks like on the lips. So I literally just did a quick little outline and now we're gonna apply this. By the way, I'd say it's been about 10-ish minutes since I've applied these on my arm and they're not like completely matted down to where um like if you touch it it won't come off on your finger like even this first one that i put down like if i do this it kind of like blends and you can see it's on my finger so just be aware of that if you're looking for something that's like completely dried down i don't think this is going to be it and like i said it's been about 10 minutes already since i've applied these onto my arms so Take with that what you will. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just applying to my lips. I'm obsessed with this color. So I feel like 
I wasn't expecting it to be exactly this. Like the way it looks on my lips, I feel like is just a tiny, tiny bit different than how it's swatched. But this is beautiful. Like it has like a warmer undertone to it, but it's stunning. And especially for like the winter months, it's like that super dark but warm nude. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like I feel like these two together right now are going to be a frequently used combo because this looks very good. And on the lips, it doesn't feel dry at all. Like I said, this didn't even fully dry down yet, but it feels really comfortable. Like it's not dry to wear. Like, you know how with some liquid lipsticks, when you do this, nothing happens. This, like you can actually like move your lips together and it feels like you're almost like wearing I don't want to say a chapstick, but if you just like lightly put like a slight amount of chapstick on, like just to where your lips feel comfortable, that's kind of what this feels like, if that makes any sense at all. But it just feels like really natural. Like it doesn't feel like a dry liquid lip. It feels like you're just wearing a little bit of chapstick and it looks so beautiful. I don't even think this claims to be a liquid lipstick, to be honest. It just says air matte lip color. So if it doesn't dry down, it's probably because they don't say it's like a matte liquid lipstick. It's maybe just like a regular lipstick, <laughs> liquid. I don't know. It says it's matte, whatever though. I think it looks matte. It just doesn't feel matte, if that makes sense to you. This is like making it really comfortable for my lips. I didn't have any chapstick on or anything before too, so it feels really good. And I just feel like it's making my lips look really nice. So do I think it's worth the money? Yes. A hundred percent yes, but this is just a first impression like of course I have to Go through it and see how it wears throughout the day and just Use the different shades on my lips and see how I like those but as far as like a first impression goes This whole collection to me is really really good like the formulas of these are insanely like spot on to what I look for in a product. Like if I want a lip product like this, this is exactly what I want my lips to feel like. But I just love this kind of applicator. So it's like a win-win and this color is amazing. So this, beautiful. And I don't even know what to say about the blush. That's definitely my favorite because it just speaks for itself right now. Like my cheeks are looking good. My cheeks, cheeks, my cheeks are looking super peachy and just like plumped and beautiful and now i feel like i'm having a really good makeup day but overall i think the collection is a definite thumbs up two big thumbs up from me i recommend it if you were interested in trying it out i say it's definitely worth a try so go check it out comment let me know what you guys think about this let me know which of the shades that I swatched was your favorite and what you thought about this because I have nothing but good things to say. So comment, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to share with your friends, give it a huge thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel, you guys. It means the world to me if you do. It helps to support the channel, helps to grow the family. So please make sure to do that, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.